Garden Products, a friend in your garden. It is nine minutes away from nine on the Kitchen and Garden Show Radio Live. Matthew Bradbury, Senior Lecturer at Unitech. Good morning to you. Hi, Helen. How are you doing? Good. Good. Now, you've got some pretty exciting plans of what you think Auckland should be doing to smarten itself up. Absolutely. Okay, so basically, we've got to face up to facts. Auckland is growing, isn't it? So we've got choices about whether it's going to end up with a lot more density and we're going to have buildings going upwards or whether we're going to spread all the way to Hamilton. What do you think we're going to do? Well, that seems to be where the debate's uh, at the moment uh, in Auckland. But uh, well, what I, I guess what I really think is we should uh, have, a, ha- have a look at how the city really works and, and, and what are the good things about Auckland yep. and I think really what's, what's the fantastic thing about Auckland and what we, we, all, we all really enjoy is, is the water and, and, and being by the water and I think when we look at the city and we look at a lot of our harbours and streams they're, they're really really underused a lot of them still got old industry on them a lot of them are polluted uh, a lot of them are sort of backwards but they could be really fantastic how they clean is Auckland Harbour? How clean is Auckland Harbour? That's, uh, a, a, again, a, another really good uh, question. Some bits are, are fine, but some bits are, are, are really polluted. The, the, the upper white mat has, you know, got some problems, and, you know, we really need to get onto that and, and to clean it up. And, and I guess what, I, what I'm suggesting is we could actually do two things at once. We could, we could clean up the harbour, we could clean up those edges, clean up those streams, and at the same time we could actually build new new places to live, new new houses for all these new people that are going to be arriving in Auckland and, and you know, want to be by the water. They want they want to that's why people come to Auckland, I think. They they really like that kind of aspect. And in some of the life. cities of the world that you can, that you visit yeah. and uh, there's Singapore and parks and other places spring to mind where their waterfront area has been completely tidied up and made into parkways and there's actually really long extended areas that you can go for a run or go for a bike ride and yep, you just yep, keep absolutely. going on and on yeah, no, and exactly, on yeah. through beautiful parkland. Yep. Is that feasible for Auckland? I think so. I think I think um, that you know I think you've really hit on something that you know we do have some areas in Auckland where we do have that um, you know that really fantastic park, beach, um, water kind of environment. You know, especially Tamaki Drive is the best example. But but there's lots of areas where you can't get to the water in Auckland. And so what I'm I guess what I'm suggesting is, is as part of this clean up, if we if we really were serious about cleaning up the harbour, serious about cleaning up these industrial areas, we could actually. We we could actually do those things. We could clean those um, uh, clean those edges, and we could also use and transform those into areas which which could become new parks and, and new links. So, I mean, wouldn't it be fantastic if we could actually walk, jog, run all the way around our harbours, all, mm. all the way around the edges, and 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 that's where I think you know a program of of remediation, cleaning up the streams and stuff. Hand in hand with, with with making new parks would be would be really fantastic. Matthew, in our central city Auckland area at the moment, where we've got all our huge container boats, and you know, you drive past and there's piles and piles of containers so mm. high that you can barely see the water, uh, and right around that could a precinct to Auckland, is that essential to leave that as industrial, or could that possibly be moved elsewhere and our whole uh, city frontage be something that's more recreational and pleasant? Uh, okay, Helen, that's a, that's a really that's a really good question. I think a lot of people do see the you know the port as being uh, you know ugly or a problem. I, I I have to say I think the port is fantastic, and I think you know when you when you go around the world, lots of cities have moved their ports out of out of the city, and you know there's and there's absolutely no connection. You know, in Auckland we can actually see this is the thing that that that, that, that keeps New Zealand going. This is the thing. You know, it's a, it's a real part of the city. In, in the street might be a bit ugly. But it's actually, you know, a part of how the city works. And also, if we think about sustainability, you know, is it really a good idea shipping stuff into New Zealand and to Tauranga and then shipping it all and then, you know, putting it onto a truck and back into Auckland? Really, it's much better if we have stuff landing in Auckland and then going to people in Auckland. You know, that's a much better idea. But in terms of landing in Auckland, is it essential that it's right at the front of our city? And I'm talking about that whole area in front of Victor Arena, where you think if there was grasslands and parks and places for people from those offices and apartment buildings to go and have lunch and go and hang out, there would be something really lovely about that. Yeah, I... (laughs) And I'm just saying, I, I guess, you know, we have to think about the waterfront being... It's, 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 I think it's just bigger than just downtown. You know, I think we have to think about the Auckland waterfront being something that stretches from 
from uh, really from let's say West Haven to St Helier's. You know, Key Street okay, is really yep. going. Key Street is really going to become the new. It's really going to be the new Queen Street. You know, that's really the new kind of infrastructure of Auckland. And, it's a new main street of Auckland, and I think, you know, if we had a tram that ran along that, people could just hop on and hop off, then you could actually stretch the waterfront out. And then the port just becomes, rather than becomes a blot, the port becomes a really kind of important, integral place as, as part of that waterfront chain. Okay. So, so your whole thing is making our water's edge and back from there into a aesthetically pleasing area or a place that people will use more or what, what, what's your angle with it? Well I think it's all those things I think it's, it's really um, the waterfront the water edge you know we've got lots of water in Auckland we, you know, we really are a water city uh, and some of it's really well well used Timothy Drive the North Shore you know it's, it's, yep. it's fantastic but there's heaps of places in Auckland on the water that aren't well used you know that, 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 that are polluted and, and, and have terrible problems we could we could use those areas. We could transform those areas. We could clean those areas up, and and we could, and we could uh, make parks, make public spaces, and at the same time actually make new places where we could live. Six hundred thousand people are going to be arriving in Auckland in in the next in the next twenty years. Six hundred thousand. Wow. <laughs> are our councils listening and taking it seriously? They are taking it seriously. The new council is taking it seriously. They're writing a, a plan. Uh, they realise it's it's a big problem. They realise that that you know there's huge infrastructure demands and so they're, they're putting out the Auckland uh, spatial plan which, you, which we can all contribute to you know it's, it's a public document they're calling for submission so I urge everyone to, to have a look at that online and to submit to it um, and so they're looking for ideas and how I think they're, they're quite open-minded about this you know how how are we going to develop how are we going to uh, where are we going to put these people so it's a I guess question. My, so I guess my thing is you know the reason we come to Auckland is is for water, you know, it's, it's to be by the water, so let's make the most of the water we've got. Brilliant. Now, Matthew, you have spoken around the world on this, and of course, if people want to hear you, they can come and see you. You're going to be at the Building One Entry One at Unitech on Carrington Road, Mount Albert, on Thursday, the 2nd of June, from 12.30 to 1.30. Is anyone able to come to this, Matthew? Absolutely. Absolutely. Everyone's welcome. Really, really... Um we hope lots of people can come, and I'm, I'm going to be talking, but also I really think the debate, the discussion, uh, is, 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 is part of what's, what's Excellent. important. Matthew, thanks so much for your time. Matthew Bradbury, Senior Lecturer, Unitech of Institute of Technology. I will put the details of all of that on our website. Okay, coming up uh, just after nine, Felicity O'Driscoll from Cook the Books joins us in the studio. <laughs>